being yeah. that we live in a nation that's a capitalist nation. Yes. And most of the time, um, higher education is looking as a way of attaining that degree to be well off in the job market. Mm -hmm. What majors, being that you, you're going to be a dean and being that you're in academia, what majors at this current moment in time that we're living in would give you a real return on your investment? in terms of higher education? That's, that's a very, very interesting question, and that's a really good question for a dean. <laughs> 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 because w when we have parents visit the university, you know, and the first thing I'm going to ask is, uh, how much money are they going to make when they get out? When I went to school, we didn't ask those questions. We didn't care. We just wanted the education, and that was it. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know what we were thinking. But we just went to school, we had a degree, and then we'd, after that, oh, I got a degree, now I got to look for a job. But it's all different with the millennials, you know, it's all different. So we have parents come to visit mm -hmm. and uh, they want to know, is my, when I put in all this money in my son's or my daughter's education, are they going to be able to get a job? So that's why you see on university web pages, we like to say, uh, we, universities can brag about, you know, return on investment in this major and that major and whatever it is. And so you can imagine that the humanities start thinking, oh my God, we're in trouble and in reality if you look at um i have typically been in a college of arts and sciences that uh the arts and sciences have been seeing a significant decline in enrollments mm -hmm. nationwide some schools have even closed because parents perceive that if you have a degree in english if you have a degree in history you can't do much with that what we're trying to do is to re-educate parents um that you can still do very well with a degree in history. There are lots of people with degrees in history and English that work on Wall Street. You may not know this. And so what we're trying to do now is to open minds of people. Yes, we try to do a good, a better job connecting uh, students, their careers to jobs. Um, we try to do that, but you know, as I say, you could go get a degree in engineering and still not be successful. You could get a degree in English mm -hmm. and be very successful. Yes, the STEM fields seem to have a much better return on investment. But as a dean, I don't want to sit here and say that it, do, it would be a bad idea to have your kid go do English. No, they could be a writer. They could be copy editors. Those people make a lot of money. So again, uh, we go back to planning. What do you right, want to do right. with your life? You know, mm -hmm. you could do, you could do, you know, I, 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 tell, I tell the faculty that we should not be teaching students for specific careers that we know. There are careers in the future that we don't know. We should be preparing students for tomorrow's problems, not for yesterday's problems. Mm -hmm. And so when we teach to specific careers and specific things, I think, you know, uh, we may not be doing our students uh, a, a good service. I am more for entrepreneurship and saying that we need to teach students to become entrepreneurs. And I've always been encouraging you guys. Yeah. You gotta start your own business, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. You never make money working for anybody. You have to make money only when you work for yourself. Yeah. And so we need to be training the minds of the students to think about if you don't get a job, then what's going to happen to you? You should be able to create your own. And I think that's the way we really need to educate the students for the future.